remember me because I don't even remember myself. It has been so long since I've put up a video and I'm really sorry about that. Just kidding, I'm really, I'm really not that sorry. So yeah, I would be really sorry if I had a lot more views, but I kind of was just slacking for the past few months. So it's been what, like four, five months since I last uploaded a video? Well, I'm back. Woo. Okay, so it's actually summer now. Woo. And I do plan on making a lot more videos over the summer, but I cannot guarantee anything because I just, I'm really lazy. I'm sorry. I just am. But anyway, so today I'm doing a DIY video and I'm going to be showing you how to make vial necklaces and I'll give you a little look. So I'm going to teach you how to make necklaces like these. I have had more, but I actually sold them. So I only have these two to show you guys. Anyway, so basically I'm just going to be teaching you how to make some basic versions of these, but there are a lot of different things that you can put inside them. It really just depends on your imagination. And I'm just gonna, let's just, just go, just get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a bunch of vials. It doesn't matter really what kind, but I got this pack of nine for about $7 from Michaels. You're also gonna need the things that you're going to make the chain with. So you're gonna need a pack of chain, some rings, the glass that you need to actually connect the chain together, and then you're going to need some little screw hooks to put on the top of the cork. You're going to need glitter, it doesn't matter what color, I got this for about a dollar at Target, and then you're going to need some sand, which I got from Walmart. You're going to need some brown paint, scissors, pen, and a paintbrush. You're going to need water in a small bowl, and also you're going to need a couple sheets of paper and some tape material. Now the first one we're going to make is the glitter vial. It's the easiest to make. All you're going to do is you're going to choose whichever size vial you want. I'm going to use the smallest one, and then you're going to screw the hook into the top. Next, you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to roll it up into a funnel. This is actually really important because it's like the only way that you can actually pour the sand or glitter into your vials, so you really need to be able to do this. So you're just going to put that in one end and then start pouring the glitter into it, however much you want, and then put the top in, which I actually suggest gluing it so that it stays. And then that's it. Now for the sand and glitter vial. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start pouring your sand into a bowl and then you're going to put a whole bunch of glitter in it and start mixing that together and you're going to just add more glitter whenever you think you need to and you're just going to stir it evenly together and then you're going to pour that into whatever vial size you want. Now for my favorite vial, it's going to get rid of it's going to kind of need a specific shape vial in order to do this. Um, but you're just going to take your sand and start pouring it in probably about a third of the way. And then you're going to start making your little note that you're going to be putting in. Now, all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to rip it to a small size. And you kind of want this to look like parchment and you want to look really old, so you want to not cut it, but rip it a little bit so that it looks, the edges look great. And then you're going to start writing your name. My dearest follower, I have fallen in love with my darling subscribers. I'm sorry, but I'm running away with them. Likes and kisses. You're gonna take your bowl 
and you're going to pour some of your paint into the bowl. It really does not matter what colors you have, but I'm mixing two together so I can get that perfect shade of brown that I really wanted. And you're going to pour water because you don't want it to be a solid color, you just want to kind of coat the paper with that color so that it gives it that older look. And then you're going to crumple up your paper so that it once again Make it look older and it's going to smear the ink a little bit. And then once it's done drying, you're going to roll it up really small so that it fits into the hole. Really and you're just going to stick that in there and situate it however you want it to be. And then you're done. You have your little note in the bottom. You're going to make the change. So you're just going to decide however long you want it to be. And you're going to start putting your ring on one side and then chain through the hook in your vial, and then you're going to do the same thing side, and you're done. And just repeat that with all your other vials, and that's all. So those are actually really, really easy to make, but I have like a lot of different ones that I've been making since I filmed that, which I actually filmed that a few months ago. I've just been really lazy, and I'm just now getting around to it. I know that's really bad. So I hope you guys liked it, you know, maybe you guys want to try it out for yourself, it's actually pretty inexpensive. So I'm actually going to be selling these little guys. Yeah. So if you guys are just too lazy like me, well not like me, if you guys are just lazy like me, and you guys don't want to make them yourself, you can definitely buy them for me online, I'm probably going to be selling them on Etsy. And once I get that started, I'll leave a link in the description, and I'll also leave a link on my Instagram in other places that are made to your specifications so if you want something specific inside of it like maybe you have an idea like you want honey or mustard seeds or sunflower seeds or dandelion seeds or just, just anything you know if you want different color glitter because I actually have a pack of different colors then you guys can make that to your specifications and I don't know when I'm going to start selling them hopefully within this month I will be doing that. I really need to do that though. So maybe you don't want to buy one, but you know, just tell your friends if you know somebody who might because they're actually really, really cute. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. And I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that is going to be and whenever that is going to be. Okay, bye. But you definitely. Yeah. And I have actually had a video that I wanted to upload. I'm gonna situate myself, 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 myself. I haven't made a video in so long, I just don't even know what I'm doing, don't know.